It really is too early. To get ready. Or Hanukkah, as far as, as far as that goes. Here with a very rust rustic take on the menorah is our very rustic Ken Wingard. Oh, oh. I think well, that's I, a compliment. I'll take it. I'll yeah. take it. I, I will take it. I'm not proud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I've always had a thing for menorahs. I think they're beautiful. They're uh -huh. sculptural. They have a lot of historic sort of references, and you can do them in so many different types. If you remember a couple of years ago, I did one, I think we have a photo of it, the oh, one I made from Copper really Pipe, yeah. uh, which I just had a lot of fun, so I wanted to revisit it, do a new one this year. Um, and I was sort of like looking to get inspired, and I found this one, it's by a, a Norwegian artist, um, uh, Pe uh, Pepe Hikum, uh, Hiccup, Pepe Hiccup, and it retails for $1,775. What? Oh my gosh. That is $1,755. It's gorgeous. It's yeah, gorgeous. A it's a piece money. of art. But if you're not ready to invest in your personal art collection, I have a. Uh, a way you can get that same look. Around, I have a workaround. And I you, have a workaround. Here's yours, and I, I have to be honest. Yeah, I think I like yours better. I How'd was you just going to say, yeah. I like yours better. I love you all so much. Uh, let's roll the pre tape <laughs> 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 So um, this is all just extra lumber I found out in our driveway. You're going to first off, I took two by two wood and cut it in for my eight candlesticks. I, I made them eight inches long. And then you're going to take the, the end of each one and draw an X so you know where the center is. Do that on all eight pieces. Then clamp it down um, to be safe and just get a three quarter inch paddle bit and drill your candle wells. If you're going to use traditional candles, obviously get a smaller a smaller bit. And then I got a bigger piece of redwood we had and I did that for my shamosh for the, for the center candle. Then give it all a good sanding because this is all reclaimed. Some of it has dirt, some of it has molds. Just get it all sanded up and fresh looking. Now I've got a bunch of other pieces of wood. You can get all the dimensions on our website. Um, one I'm using for the base, I just measured it out so I know exactly where each candlestick is going. There's one inch in between each one. And then, so you don't end up splitting the wood, go ahead and drill some pilot holes where all of the nine candlesticks are going to go. Then do the same thing with the actual candles. Do a pilot hole in the bottom of each one of those. I know it seems like a lot of extra steps to do the pilot holes, but it makes putting it, it makes together it really so much easier. Yeah. And then you just boom, 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 boom. Yep. Um, put them all in. Um, and then I stack the bases to give it some heft. And so it's just one slightly larger base on top of that. And then I started building the foundation as a four by four on a piece of two by six on a plank. All of this is stuff we had wow. back um, behind, the, behind the ball. This is our scrap wood. <laughs> Total scrap Design wood. Design question, because I don't know the, that much about menorahs. Are these all have to be the same height? Could you do different heights? Traditionally, those are all the same height except for the center, okay. um, which is the attendant or the leader, and you use the okay. center one to light. So it, they, in modern days, they've gotten different, but traditionally, they're all That's the same height. All right. For here, how do we work? So we're just going to combine our base and our, our, um, our candles. All we're going to do is okay, do this. You there you go. Okay. I've got this already started. So you want to get that. Get that set. There we go. Straight down. There we Ooh, go. That's impressive, Mark. Now we're well, just going to set this on top. It's right here. Is that what here. It is? No, here. you got to hit it. Here. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. It. I've never had so much no, fun. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> get it. Now, one of the things. Tim would have been so happy shoulder. to see that. There's some shoulder um, in it. One of the tricks you notice, I'll take this one, that I notice that you're not seeing any screw holes or nails, and that's because you notice we're going up mm -hmm. from the bottom. bottom. So you're hiding it. So we put the one in there, we hit it, yeah. and now I'm going to go up from the bottom here, and so you're not going to see. You could yeah. put glue that's on this, nice. too, if you wanted, right? You could. You could. Yeah. Honestly, if you're if you doing this or really wanted this last, you'd do glue. All right. So bring it over. And there glue, we go. You want to get glue in between. Just, yeah. one hit. Just, just hit it? Just go ahead. This is a, such violence in the holidays. Um, no, you do glue and then you screw it. So you do both. A little bit of wood glue. There we go. There we go. You're set. That's, there so we go. now, is it it's safe easy. to light though? Because well, all right, let's yeah, talk about that for a yeah. second. I didn't so really hurt you, did no, I? you, did. you promise? Hurt me. I feel bad now. You it was a joke before, me. but I don't want to hurt anyone. No, you didn't hurt me. Okay, okay. Are you are you all done? Are you I'm finished? I'm all done. I don't want to hurt anyone. So I'm using regular dinner taper. So traditionally, you light the candles and you let them burn all the way down. But with this, you'll never get that way. If you're using smaller candles, then just buy a little metal well. You can buy them online and yeah. just slip it in there. So. And there okay. we go. How like lovely is that? I think we have a night shot of it all lit up. Oh, and we how, do? How Wonderful. much did this cost? This literally wow. cost me zero dollars. I did not spend a penny. Unreal. Not even the not candles. Even the candles we had, everything we had. If you had to go out and buy the wood, 10, 20 bucks, but ask the hardware store for your, their scrap pile. You've sweat equity into that. Yeah, you've 